So hi everyone, my name is Ashish and we have developed this online grocery shopping system uh, as a part of our full stack project for our minor subjects. So the basic problem statement that we got is grocery shoppers often miss out on personalized deals and offers due to inefficient systems. This result in a less engaging experience and lost opportunities for selling. A platform is required to highlight competitive offers, simplify navigation and improve the overall experience. So let's delve into the project real quick and we have tried to implement all the things that is discussed in this problem statement. So let's move on to with the project and as in here you can see this is the login page. If you are already registered you can log in it otherwise you can go here as a new, new user, username, email, password and then you can confirm your password as we are already the registered user we can go on to do login page directly and we can log in as you can see this is the dashboard you can see already the products are listed here and you can also see the discounts we have applied for different products so here is a list of products you can also sort here according to the needful things you can sort it according to price low and high you can write the price range also and most discount you can also that is one also Thing that you can navigate through and this is basic categorization if you apply vegetables then if you apply milk there would come milk and if you're gonna apply cheese so you can see all these things coming up so it is your cheese and you can also add things to wish list let me adjust this and you can see it here and from here also you can add it to the cart directly and you can visit the cart too so here you can see the products, bottle guard, you can remove and Amul Gold 1 liter tetra pack and this is Amul Diced and here you can apply the coupon codes, uh, so we will explore the coupon codes and how it works. So this is the wish list. you can directly add things from here and you can also remove the things from here if you don't want. And orders, as no orders are there as of now because that part is not done and you can see accounts you can update your things here you can write your address okay let's go with this and you can update this profile here you go so yeah you can see your shipping address here so pretty much it for the user site and now we can see the admin part so we'll soon go to the admin part uh, yeah all these functionalities on the admin side and here it is your manage coupon so you can see there's two coupons already made max 20 which will give you a 20 percent discount and it would be valid from this to that date you can also create one so as you can see i created try to create this flat 20 you can create it and you can write the which is this so you can status you can write the status also add the coupon and flat 20 percent has been applied Apart from that, there are more like things to explore. You can see at the admin analytics also how many users, how is how much is your total revenue, what are the total products that it that is listed, and also where there is you can see the audit logs. What are the activities of the user? What are the timestamps? How many users have been still now been here? And you can manage the wish list of the users also. You can see user has kept these things in the wish list so that is it. yeah so here you can see category management you can see the different type of categories are that are there root vegetables leafy green vegetables and then fruits and dairy products and this is the number graph showing the number of products in each category that is available as of now so uh, if i say Okay, let's just remember fruits is at 11 and we'll remove one fruit manage products so we remember for the fruit just let's just remove kiwi 1 kg yeah i'm sure so we remove the kiwi 1 kg and we can manage categories you can see the fru fruits are 10 now so you can see the graph how many are added by the admin in each category you can see the difference so if we are not going to delve the hole in the admin side because there's a lot to explore but 
basically this is manage users manage product add we can add the product from here so uh, we remove the kiwi so we can add the kiwi description it is a fruit with tangy flavor so we can add that price let's just say 120 and stock count is like 20 brand none weight 1 kg dimensions not required uh, 0 and CU is KIW 1k sorry 1k so this is uh, what we say unique name for each product which would be directly uh, which would be directly named uh, for that file image file that you will be choosing from here too and this would go in categories of food and you can add this product to it okay so let's add this file you can choose the image is here and then add product product successfully manage, no. manage categories yeah so you can see the fruits are 11 again and we have added one fruit so let's go to the user side now and see if the fruit has been added or not so wait we added one kg right let's do this fruits yeah it has been added price is 120 stock is 20 and you can see discount is zero percent and the main part is uh, now let's apply the coupon if you can see we just did flat with flat what is it flat 20 you can see 20 percent has been applied and the discounted total is 200 rupees now so this was it guys uh, we tried to resolve the problem and also the about the coupons part now uh, it would be made it would be auto generated with the php code wherein it would calculate the amount of time the us user has been active active for for sake if that user has been active for this much uh, for more than this much threshold uh, we say for two months or three months there would be an automated code that would be generating for the user specifically the coupon code so it would be visible for him or it would be notified for to him through an email or maybe through this portal so you can see and apply the code accordingly Thank you so much guys for being here.